good, YouTube man? It's your boy Coco here back with another banger for y'all boys today. And hey, today we're gonna be reacting to J2 J. Jesus, I, I can't pronounce his man name. J X T I Q. Neighborhood coming back. 2K25. New blowout feature added to the game. Subs and rest game. Man, if y'all enjoyed this type of content, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that sub button. We're on the road 3K subs, man. But this is J T X I Q content. Of course, I'm subbed up. And I like the video, man. If y'all could do the same, help him out, help him get the 4K subs, that'd be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what he's talking about. From the city no longer being in NBA 2K25, to them potentially adding something called the blowout feature, so when you blow out your opponents, you no longer have to play the full game. And he has a, a 2K logo, so he's closely tied with 2K. I don't know how closely, but... You know what I'm saying? He might be dropping some some bangers. So uh, let's. It, it may not come this year, but it might come in next year. So let's not completely like blow out of proportion if he's wrong about certain things. You know what I'm saying? But this is probably just speculation. We gonna consider the speculation until we actually see. It. For them also speculating that PC players will no longer have to play current gen games that 2K drops, but potentially the next gen feature. There are a lot of speculations and rumors regarding NBA 2K25 as we approach that season. But before we start anything, y'all know the drill. Yo, what it do, YouTube, man? It's your boy IQ, you uh, know. <laughs> Finally back from a little vacation, you know what I mean? But nonetheless, back with another banger video, man. Now, look, I need y'all to peep this right here. We are 99 subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. Give yourself a round of applause because 4K IQ is loading and is coming very shortly. But before we even continue and talk about all the success we've been having on the channel, let's get back to the topic on hand. So I need everyone right now to leave a like and drop in the comment section down below. What is one thing 2K needs to do to make this game a top 10 2K of all time? Now let's get straight into the video, man. Let's go. My boy NBA 2K25 community. And in this tweet, he talks about something that has been advocated for over the past couple of years, and it is called the blowout feature. For those that don't know what the blowout feature is, let me just give you... I feel like the blowout feature will be extremely useful in rec because some people don't quit in the rec. It's always that like one or two people like you, they getting blown out by 50 and still won't quit. So I, if the if it's a certain number like like they know they're not coming back from I I don't know if I think to like 30 to like 50, bro, it, it, it's a blowout, dog. Like we won already. If you get if you get blown out by thirty or more, it's, it's time to go. I ain't gonna say a dub. I'm gonna say like thirty. You a quick explanation. When you're playing the rec center and you're up 30, 40, 50, there should be something called the blowout feature. So you are not forced to finish the game when you know that you're going to beat that team by an excessive amount of points. Not only that, you will teams will not quit, and that's the most annoying thing ever, bro. Like just quit the game. You've been at one person and like we send the double, triple teams at him, and you just you still won't quit. Like you want this rep that bad, you won't quit. Like quit the game, bro. Like load up. Bro. Also, be rewarded about 300 to 500 VC for blowing them out on top of the VC you would have already earned if you were to finish that game. So young, so shoot made a tweet and NBA 2K25 commented and it says NBA 2K25 needs the blowout feature and this is the video on the screen right here and I want you guys to focus on the top right corner and there's a setting where if you want to turn on the blowout feature meaning that when you hit 30 points blowout you have an option to close out that game and move on to the next or you can leave it off and still play out the full game even though you're blowing them out take a look at the clip on the top right here it is what if there was an option throughout sports games called the blowout feature an optional feature that you can toggle on and off before you start matchmaking and if it's on you'll match make with other people using the feature but we want to see this in action so you see on the top right it tells me 40 points is a standard blowout that's how much i gotta blow out my opponent by you know i say 35 and we want to go a little bit lower than 40 35 order to end this match early get my rewards move on to the next match all right you notice now the score were up 39 points this match should have been over but if i score one more bucket with the blowout feature this match should end 
And look at that. No having to deal with my opponent excessively pausing and calling timeout. No chance of the opponent getting on the mic, cussing me out, calling me a sweat for blowing them out by 40 points. Nah, none of that. I get my VC. I get to move on to the next match. My boy at the Blow Off Future been working on this for a really long time trying to get this in the game. Let me know if y'all think this would be a good feature. As well, you guys can see on the screen at the end, I'm going to put the screenshot right here. Right here. I'm going to put the screenshot right here. It says, white team wins. 40 point blowout reached. 300 VC. So on top of the VC that they would have earned for finishing the game, due to them reading the 40 point requirement, which will be classified as a blowout, they were awarded 300 VC on top of the VC that they made, as well as rep and all of that. And then there's more and more tweets to talk about. Well, you know, if you play with your squads, it just, it just everybody on the squad got to turn that feature on. I, I think it'll be a fire feature. Though. This blowout feature in NBA 2K24. As you can see from my boy Dnail314 underscore, he says how ironic. And it was and it was the Dallas Mavericks and the Minnesota Timberwolves, and it says 30 point blowout reach. So with this blowout feature, all it really is is if you're beating a team by an excessive amount, you should be able to not be, you shouldn't be forced to finish the game. You should be rewarded for you reaching. A status or reaching a requirement to be it you know to make it classified as a blowout that's the first thing that we're talking about now the second thing we want to talk about is from sensei young swan swan and he says do you want to be able to sub in and out your builds in the rack for nba 2k25 now i believe on one of his youtube videos someone by the name of theron carson downloads made a comment and it read this what do y'all think about the idea that if you have multiple builds you will be able to sub them in and out of the wreck that would be dope plus it would make people want to make more than one build think about it 2k more money for y'all greedy asses all right what he's basically saying is think about it like this during half time during timeouts say your team is losing by five points in the fourth quarter and it's two minutes left you guys were all lacking because you guys didn't have a lock you call a timeout and you're able to open your little dashboard side menu and sub in your lock build to finish out that game That'd be fire. that would be dope to be able to sub in and out your builds that would honestly be that would be crazy and on top of that yes it would make people want to make more than one build because say i got on my big man this game but we need a stretch and i'm on my inside okay time out sub in my my stretch here we go let's get to playing the game that would be but something really do dope for 2k to add time. now but it it should be limited to one one time per game so if you see the mismatch you, you playing and you you feeling how you know what i'm saying like feeling like you uh at a disadvantage yeah you can sub in your bill but you can't just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. no it should be limited to one time per game the next tweet that we're going to be looking at is from nba 2k25 community and he says 2k shall honor jerry west as the cover athlete for nba 2k25 and add a logo challenge mode featuring his best moments of his career chess saying as you guys know rest in peace to jerry west he just recently died about one to two weeks ago and to be honest he is the logo and i don't think he's ever had a cover on a 2k game and he's literally the logo of let me know if y'all buy the hard copies of the 2k uh 2k i never uh the last time i bought a hard copy of the game was 2k 19. i mean it don't matter to me who on the cover anyway because I download my games, but let me know if y'all uh, some cover fiends and let me know who y'all like to see on the cover for the legendary edition. of the NBA. Literally. And I don't think he's ever had a cover for NBA 2K. So if you guys want to see Jerry West on the legend cover due to his passing and him being the logo, drop a comment in the comment section down below. NBA 2K25 also made another tweet and said NBA 2K should break out the three point rating in NBA 2K25 into two different ratings to upgrade one being standing three-point attribute and the other one being moving three-point attribute what they mean by standing if you're spotting up and you're catching the ball and shooting that would be classified as a standing three-point rating but if you're catching and you're fading the three if you're catching and you're doing a crossover then shooting that would be classified as a moving three-point rating so would you guys want to see two different three-point ratings in my opinion i, I feel like that's just more vc uh, being added on i gotta follow that nba 2k25 because I, I thought i already thought i did but i guess not
follow him real quick. Into making our build even more complicated, I personally don't know. My opinion, I feel like standing, catch and shoot, it's the same thing. At the end of the day, you're still shooting a three pointer. It's just I feel like the level of difficulty zone. when it comes to timing it may be a little bit different. NBA 2K25 also made another tweet and said, Will NBA 2K25 next gen be on PC? Nope. 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 Yeah, if it, it, if it does, it cannot be crossplay with the consoles. Nope. Nope. I don't think so. It, it can. It just can't be crossplay. They have to be on their own island. You know what I'm saying? I, I know people like to do mods and shit. That's cool and everything. But I just feel as though it cannot be crossplay with console. Here's what we can expect. Ooh, For those that don't know, yes, 2K comes out on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, all the consoles that you can think of. I ain't gonna lie, if you buying 2K on the Nintendo Switch, though, we gotta have a serious conversation. Cause ain't no way you going online in the park and shooting consistently, dog. I know that's a frustrating experience, bro. So if you playing play now on your switch that's cool but if you're trying to have an online experience on the nintendo switch we need to have a conversation we just need to have that conversation now when it comes to pc they have only been able to play the current gen version of the recent 2k meaning nba 2k24 they were in the neighborhood they weren't in the next gen city and nba 2k23 they were on the cruise ship they weren't in the next gen city and it's so on and so on and so on pc has always had the current gen version of nba 2k and the reason being i personally feel it was due to them doing a lot of hacking due to them doing a lot of stuff that shouldn't have been done for them to be rewarded with the next gen version of the game but in my opinion i feel like it is time to lose the vendetta and just give them a next gen game it's more money at the end of the day last tweet we got right here is from my boy griff jn and he said what would you do if you load up nba 2k25 and the 2k18 park was be here now in my opinion i would love 2k18's park back in nba 2k25 i already made a video about this already i said i would love to see nba 2k20 uh nba 2k18 and nba 2k21's parks be in 25 you can do either one because like i said we only experienced those one time we got the cruise ship back to back years in 22 and 23 we got the city in 23 next gen and 24 next gen we had neighborhoods in 19 and 20. you feel me we 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 didn't really get to experience 18 and 21's park except for one year for current gen so in my opinion i personally feel like you should bring it back now this next segment right here it's going to be a two minute video why would if, we, if they bring the city back why we can't have separate neighborhoods inside the city and then don't have these little NPCs like running around making us lag. That's more delay for us on the course though. If you want to keep the city, that's cool. Just have like little neighbor, tiny neighborhoods in the middle of the city. That's it. Separate neighborhoods. So the people have a server for what if people want to go back clothes and stuff. Have that in the city way. They want to go, you know. Back Gatorade to boost, uh, have a boost in outside the goddamn city. And then the people who want to go who have them in the neighborhood instead of having people standing around making the park delayed. Come on now. It's an easy fix. But we talking about 2K here. They can't get the service right even though there's a billion dollar company. No clip of Ronnie 2K speaking back in NBA 2K20. We had to throw it back a little bit. And a lot of people have been discussing why 2K hasn't just, you know, open up old servers like nba 2k16 and stuff like that like how fortnite did fortnite og why can't 2k do 2k og and ronnie 2k in a two minute video clip explained why 2k would be unable to open back up old servers and i'm gonna make my comments at the end here's what he had to say every game think about your player file compared to another video game think about it we got how many my team players have we released last year 3,100, 3,200, something like that. Oh, well, high tech is just going to make the game a better game, which you can go back and he's going to make 2K17. So go play 2K17 from high tech. Nothing is impossible. How would you know? Are you a developer? Are you an engineer? I'm just trying to understand, like, what are you talking about? 
We save so much information on people, it's crazy. Your VC, your my team points, your stats, your cards, your clothing, your... Uh, there's no other game that does that, so we have to... I missed two games. You know, for a long time, we, we left servers up forever. It was because we didn't actually maintain very much data. Now we maintain so much data, it's wild. Now look, maybe next gen changes this, you know, like maybe next gen you can store all that stuff somewhere else and it's not a massive load, I, d I don't know. But as of now, on this generation of console, we run out of space. So it's really that simple. That's why 2K16, 2K17, you can't turn it back on, nor, you know, would we. I'm tired of Ronnie Capilla. This is it. It will be true. But you said that you couldn't reopen. You never said that you couldn't retweet. You never said that you couldn't redesign. What if we took an old layout, redesigned it into a newer game with newer features, and see what happens? You never know what happens unless you try. That is just my personal opinion. Y'all in the comment section down below, are y'all buying what Ronnie is saying, or are y'all thinking it's straight cat? All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's something like every NBA. All right, chat. This is going to be the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button, hit the sub button. We're going to roll 3K subs, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all get him. Uh, y'all make sure y'all go sub up to Brody. His link will be to this video will be in the description. I'll get up with y'all next time.